first. Pretty good size lead for Yuelke. He's on the move. Ground ball is short. To second for Tice. The ball knocked loose. Oh, here comes Jamie Keefe. And here comes Jamie Keefe. He wants an interference call at second base, and he probably should get one. Absolutely. Cespedes interfered with the play, period. He put his arm out, and he, almost, he basically knocked the ball out of Dylan Tice's glove, preventing him from making a throw to first. Now, I question Mike Francosa's decision to go to second base there because it didn't look like he was going to get the right, I don't think he would have had a play anyway, but they're looking to get the play now at first, saying that right. Tice was denied a chance to throw over there. Jamie Keith talking to Tim McCaffrey, and now Alex Harden comes over. He's the first base up, talking to Tice. Jamie appealing to McCaffrey. I don't think he's going to get any satisfaction from this, and Keith is certainly making a case. Well, hopefully we can see a replay of this because it looked pretty obvious to me, to the naked eye. Well, he went in standing and he banged into Tice. Yeah, put his arm out. Absolutely reached out. It's almost like that A-Rod, not quite as blatant as the A-Rod play when he tried to slap the ball away from, I think it was Kevin Millar years ago. Or the Reggie Jackson throw the hip out in the right. World but Series. But I was just thinking A-Rod, you know, slapping right. up the glove, trying to reach first base. So, Jamie Keefe, he's at least got the umpires to caucus. Right. That's the best you can do, I think. So, they'll talk about it now as home plate up Luke Deloise joins the conversation in the little triangle between home plate, first base, and the pitcher's mound. Umpires discussing the situation. McCaffrey relaying what he saw. I'll tell you what, if this call has changed, Someone's Roger Machado is going to come out like a house on fire. And they are calling him out for interference. And here they come. No, wait a minute. I think they're going to call. Listen to this. The, the motion that I saw from McCaffrey Double is that they're calling Cespedes out. And they're giving the batter Mesa first base. Well, he had first, right? That'd be the play. Right. And I guess they're going to call him out for the interference. Right. And, and Victor Mesa Sr. going absolutely nuts. And if you ask me, I just saw contact more than once with first base umpire Alex Harden. And now Machado has been run by Tim McCaffrey. And Machado is kicking at the dirt. And now Vega has been thrown out. He's making contact with the umpire, too. This is getting ugly in a hurry. Machado's kicking dirt on Tim McCaffrey's shoes. McCaffrey's trying to get away from the fray. He's waving everybody off, well, saying still enough. behind the scene, they're still going at him hard. And they're all getting thrown out. The entire coaching staff, I think the game's over, is getting thrown I think this out. game is a forfeit. And they may well be calling this a forfeit. Tim McCaffrey's being chased into right field by the Cuban coaching staff. The other two umpires are heading for center field. They're going to be headed off by the Cuban staff. And now it's getting physical. Now it's getting ugly. And well, now McCaffrey is literally if I'm the umpire, on the run. If I'm the umpires right now, I run to the Rockland Boulders dugout, and I grab a bat is what I do. I'm serious. They're being ganged up on. The guy was just surrounded by five people who were getting physical. The entire coaching staff came out. Now the entire Cuban team is out of its dugout. The umpires are walking off toward the exit with Big John, our on-field announcer. Well, if you need a bouncer, there's your guy. I wouldn't come back if I was the umpires either. I'm sorry. I wouldn't. And the umpires are leaving the field, heading for the clubhouse. They are walking up the bleachers, down the right field line. Well, I think the Rockland Boulders have won this game. And I suppose we're going to have to wait and see what happens here. It's the Boulders who were in the field are still in the field. At least tensions didn't boil over between the teams because that could have been just ridiculous. The Cuban players and whoever is left of the coaching staff well, walking the towards are the dugout. Hands. The this boulders are over. coming out now, I to don't form know the Congo line and congratulate themselves.
themselves for a 6-5 win, even though there's only one out in the top of the ninth inning. Well, no, two outs, because they did call him out at second, right? Somebody was out, right. we assume. Now, I'm hoping our control room, our, can our control room get a replay of the initial play at second base? I don't know if we have it. Hopefully, they will uh, be able to cue that up. All right, let's stand by. I think they're going to be I'll able to I'll tell you what we'll up. do. Let's take a break. The Bowlers have apparently won this game. It's been declared a final 6-5. Here with two outs in the top of the ninth. Bowlers take two out of three. We will come back. We'll show you the replay, and we'll digest this whole thing. Let's take a look now. I beg your pardon. The ground ball from Mesa to the shortstop, Francoso. He flipped to Tice. You'll see it here. And Tice was pushed by yes, Cespedes. Great. Very clearly him. pushed. He grabs him. And the ball came loose. And on that shot, you see right there Cespedes' right hand wrapped around Tice's back. But what you don't see is his left hand, which actually touched the glove and knocked the ball out of Tice's glove. Now, the good news is the teams are shaking hands, as is customary at the end of an international series. So the Cubans are apparently... Um, accepting this defeat. Even if they're not happy with the umpiring crew, the umps have all been chased to the clubhouse. They have not returned and apparently will not return. Well, Jamie Keefe and Roger Machado gave each other a big hug. 